Hi, everybody, and welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're live right now in East Nashville at Three Sirens with Veronica Stanton. Veronica, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Yeah, it was great getting to know you a little bit at uh, Love and Exile three nights ago or something. Yep. Gotten a lot of great uh, Americana hangs in this week. So um, thank you for joining us here today. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Yeah. We're about to share three of your songs with our audience right now. All of them are from Caught Up on a Feeling, which congratulations to you just came out on Friday. Uh, what do you want to do first? I'm going to do uh, I'm No Good, and I'm going to have my friends Nikki, Vaughn, and Amelia Ransom. They're going to yeah. sing with me, and they're going to play. Yeah, this is the first song off the new record. you everybody this is a delightful way to wrap up man this is our last americana session so thanks for for keeping it classy man i like your music a lot thanks for doing this thank you so much for having us yeah let us talk a little bit about the way that caught up on a feeling came into being um you told me that that wilson harwood was the the main collaborative force here producer of the record what, yes. what does that relationship look like when you guys get together to make stuff well, uh, we were friends before, and uh, we basically had gotten together to do a co-write, and it was our first co-write, and he just, like, we collaborated really well together, and I loved working with him, so I knew I wanted to do the whole record with him, and that was last summer, and so over the course of, like, a few months, we got together probably, like, 20 days or so in the studio, and we just, like, built each song from the ground up, and he played almost every instrument on the record, aside from drums and the strings, so... Everything you hear on there, a lot of it is due to Wilson. 
but yeah, he was great to work with. It's really cool. fun. Cool. Well, I'm glad that you found that relationship. I've been enjoying your music a lot and it sounds great here in the room. So uh, Thank you. let us hear more music. We're about to hear a second one from Caught Up on a Feeling. What do you want to do next? Uh, I'm going to play Sorry If It Bothers You. Um, this is actually another song that Wilson and I wrote together. We wrote it kind of in the middle of working on the record and I came in with the first verse written and told him I wanted to write a song about being a people pleaser and so he helped me um, yeah write the rest of it and it's called Sorry If It Bothers You. Is it, have you found in the time since writing that song, I mean, are you speaking up at the appropriate times and being more assertive, or is that like a roadmap for what you want to be, or is it is it happening in, <laughs> in practice a little bit? Well, I, I think I kind of had like come into that realization before writing that song, like, oh, wow, I always am worried about like everybody else and making sure everyone feels okay, and even if that means I won't say what I think. So I definitely try to be better about it. I still say sorry. I probably have apologized to you guys like five times by now. No, I think not. I'm maybe pretty I sure you've been assertive this whole time. Think. Appropriately assertive. It's been great. <laughs> Only when I texted him that and I was running was late. Say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you were late, so. so uh, it's appropriate. <laughs> so, that's a good one. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely.
definitely feel like I, I am trying to be more like at least speak my mind about things and um, yeah the whole record was kind of cool with that I finally was like oh I'm gonna like say what I want this to sound like and like even if I'm worried it might not be what that person thinks will sound good I'm gonna say it anyways and it worked out <laughs> so yeah. yeah yeah I agree I'm, I'm yeah. a fan of the record and it's yeah you will get bulldozed a hundred percent of the time if you don't say the thing and then you're gonna end up making somebody else's record yeah yeah. And I mean, same is true is true touring. Also, I want to talk a little bit about some of the upcoming dates that you're yeah. excited about. I mean, if you do not stand up for yourself while you're out there, you're you know club managers, et cetera. Like everybody right. is gonna shove as far as they possibly can until you stay, dude. Stop. Yeah, I feel like that's probably why this is my first tour because I've been scared for a long time to like really fully go for it. So I'm excited. But next month I'm gonna be doing a little Northeast tour. So I'll be in D.C. and New York and Philly. Um, Philly's where I, like, I grew up in the Philly area, so I'm excited for that. But also, I'm really excited to play New York and D.C. I've never played there before, so that'll be October. You can head to my, my website has all the dates and the info, and, yeah, but yeah. I'm really excited to actually go on a little tour. Yeah, good. I'm excited for you. That's going to be fun. Um, travel safely, and uh, keep on playing lovely music. And we still have one more coming up from Caught Up on a Feeling. Uh, what do you want to do third today? I'm going to play Quick Fix. Um, it's one that I wrote by myself. Uh, I wrote it back in like 2019, I think. And I kind of wrote it about being in a pretty bad headspace and I had not written for a long time. So I finally was like, I'm gonna just try to write a song. And um, it el- helped me kind of get out of it. So hopefully it can help somebody else get out of a funk or whatever they're going through. It's called Quick Fix. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow I'll get to go and do what I'm supposed to do I've been knowing it to myself Maybe tomorrow I'll get to move them Finally see it ain't about proving it to anyone else I gotta put that kind of thinking on the shelf But I know there's not a quick fix I know Tired of the 
Thank you for the music. Um, best of continued luck on Caught Up on a Feeling. It just came out on Friday. And travel safe. Have a great New York show at Rockwood 1 on October. It's on the 12. internet on yes, October 12th. October 12th, Rockwood 1. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a great Philly show. Have a great DC show. We did it, Brad. We did it, Brad. We did it. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you guys so much. Yeah. Let's uh, just keep crossing paths, man. Whenever it makes sense, we're in the same part of the world. We'll, we'll see you there. I would love that. All right. See you Thanks next so time. Much.